Welcome to our video on the massive construction projects happening in Mumbai, India. As one of the most populous cities in the world, Mumbai is constantly growing and evolving, and the construction industry is at the forefront of this change. From towering skyscrapers to state-of-the-art public infrastructure, the city is undergoing a transformation that is nothing short of impressive. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at some of the most ambitious construction projects happening in Mumbai, including housing and public infrastructure. We'll explore the technology and techniques being used to build these projects, as well as the impact they are having on the city and its residents. First, we'll take a look at the housing projects that are shaping the skyline of Mumbai, from luxury high-rise apartments to affordable housing developments. These projects are providing much-needed homes for the city's growing population. Next, we'll dive into the public infrastructure projects that are transforming the city. From new highways and bridges to state-of-the-art metro systems, these projects are improving transportation and accessibility for residents and visitors alike. Finally, we'll take a look at the future of construction in Mumbai and the potential for even more ambitious projects in the years to come. So, whether you're an architecture enthusiast or just curious about the construction happening in one of the world's most vibrant cities, this video has something for you. So sit back, relax, and let's take a closer look at the massive construction projects happening in Mumbai. First, we'll take a look at the luxury high-rise apartment projects that are shaping the skyline of Mumbai. The World One Tower, for example, is the tallest residential building in India. Standing at 280 meters tall, it comprises 76 floors and offers luxury apartments, penthouses and duplexes. The tower is located in the prime location of Lower Perel, Mumbai, and is developed by Lodha Group, one of India's leading real estate developers. The project was designed by the world-renowned architect Pei Cobfried Ease Partners, who have designed some of the most iconic buildings in the world. Another example is Lodha Bellissimo, a luxury residential project developed by Lodha Group as well, one of India's leading real estate developers. The project comprises two towers, each standing at 47 stories, and offers luxurious apartments and penthouses. The project's design is an architectural marvel with a perfect blend of modern and contemporary elements. In addition to luxury houses, there is also a boom for affordable housing in Mumbai. These affordable housing developments are providing much-needed homes for the city's growing population. The government of Maharashtra has launched the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana scheme to provide affordable housing to the urban poor, which is being implemented by the Maharashtra Housing and Area Development Authority. The scheme aims to construct around 20,000 affordable homes in the city. Additionally, the government is taking on one of the most ambitious urban renewal projects in the world. Dharavi is one of the largest slums in Asia, with a population exceeding 1 million residents. Furthermore, Dharavi is a booming business hub, generating economic activity of over a billion dollars. It is one of the most diverse and vibrant informal economies in the world. Despite the difficult living conditions, Dharavi has a thriving economy that employs hundreds of thousands of people. One of the main economic activities in Dharavi is small-scale manufacturing. The slum is home to a large number of small-scale industries such as leather goods, pottery, textiles and recycling. These industries provide employment to a large number of people and contribute to the local economy. The redevelopment project aims to transform it into a modern, livable community for its residents. The project is being implemented by the Slum Rehabilitation Authority and the Maharashtra Housing and Area Development Authority. The project is divided into five phases, with a total of 15 sectors. The project will provide the residents of Dharavi with better living conditions, improved infrastructure and access to basic amenities such as water, sanitation and electricity. The government is working with Adani, one of the biggest companies in the country, to set up a special purpose vehicle that would build free houses with services like water, power supply, sewage disposal, piped gas, etc. for qualified slum dwellers. The project also aims to create new job opportunities for the residents and improve the overall quality of life in the area. Mumbai's population is projected to continue growing and the demand for housing will remain high. In total, there are over 200 skyscrapers and 12,000 high-rise buildings under construction in Mumbai. 
With new technologies and techniques being developed all the time, it's likely that we'll see even more impressive residential construction projects in the future. Exponential construction isn't just happening in housing projects. The city's government is also investing billions of dollars into various public infrastructure projects. As one of the most populous and fastest growing cities in the world, Mumbai is undergoing a major transformation and the construction of new public infrastructure projects is a vital part of this transformation. These projects are helping to improve transportation infrastructure, reduce congestion and increase accessibility for people living in the city. First on our list is the Mumbai Coastal Road Project, a 29.2 km long, 8-lane coastal road that will connect Marine Drive to Kandivali, which is going to revolutionize the transportation infrastructure of the city. The road will not only ease the traffic congestion in the city, but also provide a scenic drive along the coast. The project also includes the construction of several flyovers, interchanges and tunnels that will improve the connectivity of the city. The project will be built on reclaimed land from the sea and will require the construction of breakwaters to protect the coast from erosion. In addition, the project will include the construction of several tunnels and sea links, which will be built using state-of-the-art technology such as the immersed tube method. The coastal road is projected to be used by 130,000 vehicles daily and is expected to reduce travel time between South, Mumbai and the western suburbs from 2 hours to only 40 minutes. The estimated cost of the project is around $1.5 billion and is expected to be completed by November 2023. Next, we have the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, a 22-kilometer long sea bridge that will connect Mumbai to the mainland. The Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is being developed by the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority and it's being built to ease the traffic congestion between Mumbai E and the mainland and reduce travel time. The project comprises several components such as a cable-stayed bridge, a viaduct and a tunnel that will improve the connectivity of the city. One of the most impressive construction facts of the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is that it will be the longest sea bridge in India. The bridge will be made of reinforced concrete and will have a total of 64 piers, with the main span of the bridge being around 2 kilometers. The Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority estimates that 70,000 vehicles will use the bridge daily after it opens. The project is being built at an estimated cost of $2.2 billion and is expected to be completed by December 2023. The Mumbai E Metro Rail Project is another impressive public infrastructure project happening in the city. The Mumbai Metro Rail Project is a rapid transit system that comprises 14 metro lines covering an area of over 300 kilometers in the city. The project is being developed by the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority with the aim of improving the connectivity of the city and easing the traffic congestion. The metro lines will cover important areas of the city such as the business districts, residential areas and tourist hotspots. The project will also connect the city's major transportation hubs such as the airports and railway stations, making it easy for residents and visitors to travel around the city. The design of the Mumbai Metro Rail project will use the latest technology such as automatic train control and communication-based train control systems. The construction of the Mumbai Metro Rail project is being done in an environmentally friendly manner. The project will include features such as rainwater harvesting systems, solar panels and green spaces. Out of the 14 lines, three are currently operational and the remaining lines are under construction. After completion, it is expected that around 7 million passengers will use the Mumbai Metro daily. The project is being built at an estimated cost of $14 billion and it is expected to be fully operational by October 2026. The final project we are going to look at is the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor also known as the bullet train, is a proposed high-speed rail service that will connect the cities of Mumbai and Ahmedabad, covering a distance of around 575 kilometers. The project is being developed by the National High-Speed Rail Corporation Limited, with the aim of improving the connectivity of the region and reducing travel time between the two cities. 
The rail line will pass through some of the most important mega cities of Gujarat and Maharashtra, such as Surat, Madodara, and Thane. The project will also connect the region's major transportation hubs, such as the airports and railway stations, making it easy for residents and visitors to travel around the region. The train can reach top speeds of around 350 km per hour, reducing travel time between Mumbai and Ahmedabad from 8 hours to 2 hours. The project is being built with cooperation from Japan International Cooperation Agency and will use F5 series Shinkansen high-speed trains from Japan. The estimated cost of the project is around $21 billion and is expected to be completed by 2027. The construction of homes and public infrastructure projects going on in Mumbai is a reflection of the city's ambition and its commitment to building a better future for its residents. From the towering skyscrapers to the state-of-the-art metro rail systems, these projects are not only impressive feats of engineering but also symbols of the growth and development happening in the city. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.